Hi everybody! It's Motivational Monday. I was so excited to come back and do this video. Check in with you guys after our first Motivational Monday video last week. Well, how'd you guys do? Did you stay motivated? Did you make it through the week? Did you adhere to your goals? I really hope so. I did. I made a big list on, let's see, on Tuesday morning after I did this video and I said, you know what, I am going to stick to my list this week. I'm going to get all these things. You know, there's so many things that we put off. Well, writing them down and making a list really helps you focus and I did them all. So, I hope you rewarded yourself. I did. Would you like to know what I got? I got nail polish. Isn't that really pretty? Can you see? It's a dark green and I'll tell you what it's called. Um, it's called L'Oreal The Muse's Attitude number 791. It's like a really pretty dark green color. Can you see? And that was to reward myself for a job well done because I did so many things that I wanted to do this week I was really proud of myself, so I hope you did that too. And thanks to all of you that shared your favorite things. And I want to give a few shout outs to viewers who shared their motivation and what they've been doing with us at UTIPS for You. And we can all be inspired by them. And the first one I want to um, shout out to is Emily Capt. While she's studying for her MCAT, she's been working really hard, studying three hours a day. You go, Emily. You're going to do a great job. Those are tough tests, tests for you. For you guys out there that don't know what the MCATs are, they're the medical um, college admission tests that you have to take in order to be accepted into medical school. It's very competitive. It's a tough test, and she's been working really hard. Um, so let's, you know, join our mental strength and just give her all our good thoughts. And um, I have two other shout-outs, and one is for... ALDL 155 and she lost five pounds in one month and she uh, has 40 more to go she's got a great attitude she's giving herself a year to do this and I love that because um, I really don't believe in crash dieting it is just not a permanent solution to losing weight you have to take it slower you want your body to adjust you want to make sure that you're exercising and eating right. She's doing all of those things. She's walking regularly. Um, she's eating healthy. And she's, she's comfortable in her thinking that this is going to take some time. And her body is going to reward her for that. So you keep going out there and you do a great job. And um, the other shout out I want to give is to um, CPGDE. Last year, she was... Uh, a size 1X and as of Monday she's a size medium that's amazing okay that is such a great great accomplishment um, all of you out there who really tried hard this week I'm really proud of you and I think that um, coming back every Monday is really gonna help us all okay so I wanted to talk today about you know dieting and a lot of you wrote about that. And um, I wouldn't give shout outs to anyone that wrote me personally. These were people who made public comments. So um, anything that's in the personal message area, that's between you and I. So that won't ever be, uh, and I would never mention names either. Those are user IDs. So um, one of the viewers, um, I remember she wrote, and she's just saying that, and, and several people did how hard it is for them to diet and they feel deprived. and. Um, and they're always hungry. And you know what? There's no reason to feel like that. First of all, here's my thinking on that. If you um, have committed to a lifestyle change, then you know that you're not going to be depriving yourself. You're just simply going to be eating differently. Dieting is hard work. Losing weight is hard work. But nothing worthwhile is easy especially if you're trying to make a change. Don't think in terms that you're giving something up. You're really not because in the end, you're gonna get such a great reward. You're gonna get a reward of good health. You're gonna feel better about yourself. You're gonna look better. You're gonna have more self-confidence and all of that is really worth it and it's not gonna come easy. 
It's going to be hard. There's going to be times where you're just going to be bummed out and feel like I'm tired of dieting, the scale's not moving. But that's why we have exercise to keep your spirits up, to keep those endorphins flowing, to help burn the calories faster. And we also have support systems. You have my videos, there's tons of magazines out there, there's television shows, there's so many things, there's dieting programs. I mean, don't let all that slip away if you need that. Find what you need and use it to your advantage. And know that, that in the end, you're going to be so happy that you lost the weight. Now, there are things that you can do so that you don't feel so deprived. Um, eating small meals throughout the day, higher fiber foods, making sure you get enough of the healthy fats, like things like peanut butter and nuts, olive oil, things like that. What they're going to do is help you feel satiated longer. When you have fiber, food in your body takes longer to break down. Your body expends more energy to break these foods down. So have several small meals throughout the day of high fiber, healthy foods. If you need some guidelines with that, please check out my Food and Diet Fit for Life video um, where I feature a little food bear because it's a great little symbol for you to kind of remember what would be good for you to eat and how to eat and portion control and things like that. And you can use that in your daily life. And eating healthy can be really fun and you don't have to feel deprived. Because there are foods that you can eat abundance of and it's not going to make you gain weight. You know, vegetables pretty much are so good for you and have no sodium, no sugars. And you can eat a lot of vegetables and salad to, 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 to enable yourself to feel full without the calories. But, you know, don't get your body used to that eating till you are so stuffed feeling. That's what portion control is all about. It's sort of about training your stomach to, to feel full with lesser amounts of food. So in the beginning it's hard, but then as your tummy shrinks down and gets used to less and less um, quantity, uh, you feel full faster. So um, just keep that in mind and try always to look towards the future, towards your goal. Think of the positive things. Don't think I'm giving this up. Think what you're getting in return. How great you're feeling, how great you're looking, um, you know, there's ups and downs in everything. Uh, there's always going to be days where you feel a little blue and you feel like having something. And that's why I say don't deprive yourself. If you feel like you need a little treat, then go ahead and have that little treat. But, you know, keep it realistic. Don't overdo it. Now, if you have a craving, let's say you get through your day, and I always try to do this. I try to get through my day with really healthy, good choices from different food groups. And then the nighttime comes, I say, hmm, you know, I did really well today. If I feel like having a little treat, I will have it. I've said that to you guys in the videos before. I will not just eat around it because you end up consuming more calories than if you just had that um thing that you wanted to begin with. So allow yourself to have it. After you have it, kind of say, okay, I had my little thing, so that's it, I'm done for tonight. I do that. If I really want my chocolate ice cream and I say, you know, I'll have a little bit, I have some in a bowl, then after that I will be less inclined to eat again because I'll feel like, okay, I had my ice cream, now I gotta be good. And I am. But if I've eaten all these other healthy things, it's still on my mind that I haven't done my little reward thing for the day. And I do that a lot. I don't deprive myself um, from having my little treats. But the thing I don't do, overconsume. I do not sit down and have half a cake. I'll cut myself a small piece. And you know what? I'll try not to finish the whole piece. Like I'll have as much as I need to feel like, okay, I feel satisfied. And not only that, I'll have something else on the plate. Lots of times I'll have a little yogurt with it. I do that a lot. Like if I have something chocolate, like ice cream or something, or a, a chocolate cake or cookie or brownies, of course my healthy brownies, I will have like a little bit of yogurt. I love that combination of the sweet and then the kind of the, the sourish sort of tones it down. You will eat less of your sweet snack and you'll eat something with protein and carbohydrate or something that's going to, you know, ward off some of that insulin response that you'll get from having that um, simple sugar. So try to do that. And you know when you make homemade things, um, please remember my homemade brownie recipe. You don't have to make it exactly like that, but just think in terms of making your own homemade desserts and adding more fiber to them. Adding things like, you know, oatmeals and grains and, you know, you can throw some beans in a blender 
and you can bake them into your brownies. Believe me, you'll get used to it. I love that. And then you know you'll you'll be less inclined to feel guilty. I'll put a little frosting on it and I'll know, you know, I can put a little frosting on it. It's really got some healthy things in it. It's going to control my insulin response because it's got the fiber and it, you know, it's got the protein. It's already built in. So it's a matter of changing your taste. So remember, we're always really proud of ourselves when we're able to be strong and stick to our guns. So if you do give in a little to your cravings, don't beat yourself up about it. Okay, everybody has moments of weakness. Just pick yourself up and keep going. It's not going to make a big difference going forward unless it, it de completely derails you because you'll be able to overcome it. And that's why I say don't deprive yourself if you really want something because it's about overall happiness. If you need to have that little snack or that little treat and it's going to make you feel like, you know, there's still something looking, worth looking forward to about your eating plan, then go ahead and have that. But remember, it's a very small part of your diet. It's only, it's, and it's meant to be controlled. It's not something that you just eat like you're having a bowl of salad. You want to be disciplined in it and you want to maintain, you know, your sight on your goal, which is that you want to lose weight, you want to get fit, you want to get in better shape, and you want to control how you eat. Be aware of how you eat. Be aware of the food groups. Be aware of choices that you make when you're hungry. Things you want to eat that you haven't eaten already in the day. If you've had, you know, cereal and milk, then go for a piece of fruit. Things like that. You want to get all the vitamins and nutrients. Okay, so stay motivated this week, and I'll check in with you next Monday. And let me know in the comments area how you guys did last week and what you might have done to reward yourself. And I want to share with you a favorite thing today before I go, and that is spring birdie sounds. I love them. Just about a week ago, it was kind of a warmish morning, and it's winter here where I live, and the sun was shining, and I heard them. The earliest of spring birds, and they were tweeting, singing, and it sounded just like a day in May. And I just, I can't wait for the warm weather, and I love that sound. I love this, and brings me back to when I was a little girl. I've always, like, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll lie there, and before I get up and start doing everything, I always just listen. I listen to those little birds in the morning, and I just love it. It greets my day. I love the sound. It's soothing. It makes me feel happy and excited for the day. Sometimes I'll just get up, get dressed, go out for a walk or a jog. Um, just to be out in nature in the early morning is just wonderful. So I hope you'll think of your favorite thing. It'll help you stay positive, and I hope you enjoy these Motivational Monday tips. So get through the week. Good luck to you, and I'll see you next Monday. Oh, and please subscribe, because I have a lot more to come, and you want to make sure you get these Motivational Monday videos that I'm going to be uploading every week, so be a subscriber. Check me out on my blog spot, and also like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, and we can stay connected on all those areas as well. And you have a great week, okay? Bye-bye now.